we're on this prime here, and um, as you can see, we got my reviewing stuff on, so you know what that means. Reviewing time! Okay, so before I start, there's something I want to tell you guys. My mother, Mommy Prime, is moving back up here. So, that's good news. I might be able to make some videos with her. So that'll be fun. And another big thing, actually, if you guys want to see my Mommy Prime, here's my mom. She bought me this ring and this necklace, so I'm using them for reviewing. Okay, anyways, going into it. Today is my first multi vlog toy review. So basically what it is, obviously it's a vlog where you guys see me, and I do a toy review. So I do multiple toy reviews in one video. Now, and you know what, you guys will figure it out. So, we're doing three different like actual toy reviews. I got four comparisons. I got three down here and one over there. Actually technically two over there. So let's just get right into it. First one is a Legion class figure. Her name is Slash. She's a Dinobot. So what I really like about this is it's kind of more of a G1 Transformer. So if you literally go and look up G1 Dinobots on Google, you'll find like a translucent plastic head like this and everything. Now, the detail on the tail is very, very cool. Of course, a little hollow, but I don't expect much from this. Um, the claws, the molding on those claws. See? That's really cool. And let's open up the mouth. Just look at those teeth. This is really cool. And if you even look into the, um... Come on, stop focusing on me. If you even look into, the, like, the actual head, there's so much detail. So this is cool. I love this. Now, let's get into transforming it. Oh, and by the way, I can't, like, actually show you her weapon or her obligatory product card, but you can literally look them up. Next time I do a multi-vlog review, I'll bring her in if I can find her card and her packaging. But most of these guys, I don't have their packaging anymore. A couple of these guys I do, though. I've spent three minutes just talking about this one figure. There we go. So there's Slash, the female Dinobot in her robot mode. Now, the detail on the legs, the arms, the torso, they even went in to paint her visor, paint her face. They've gone through to even paint the. Those are pistols. Where are the pistons? I know I saw a piston somewhere. Like, they even went to the detail of molding this. They didn't have to, but they did. I'm so thankful for that. Now, articulation-wise, her head, of course, does move. Of course, in Dino Mode, the tail moves, and the hands move, and... But anyways, going into it, this is... So, if you got this much movement... This way, can do a full 360, got 90 degrees at the elbow bend, can do a full 360 at the, at the bicep, and no articulation in the hands, you've got articulation in the knee, you're right at the calf, can do a full range, the leg can go up this high can go back about this far because of the backpack so that's it for slash now we're going 
back in time to one of my very first reviews. I'm taking out my brace, it's bugging me. Oh, I haven't done a character like this in a long time. So this is a dull this is Deluxe Class Combiner Wars Mirage. My favorite. Now, he is a T racer. They they even did the whole like sixty two circuit racing. They didn't have to do that. They even went into the detail of molding a seat in a steering wheel. A freaking steering wheel. I'm going to turn on a light real quick, guys. It's back up there. My desk is a mess right now, guys. They even went into the time to detail this so well. They did the tires, pistons, and you'll see. They even went into the detail of making a spoiler and trying to make it look like a T-Racer. Now, here's the cool part. Each one of the Combiner Wars, of course, come with Deluxe Class Combiner Wars, come with these. Which are my least favorite out of some of the Deluxe I'm reviewing. They have um, hands that can be left or right. So it can be a right hand. A. A. <laughs> or it can be a left hand. So not really my thing. In a later video. Late. Uh, review. Anyways. So when you're re transforming him. You want to do this. 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 Bring up the shoulders. Most people are probably going to think that I'm. Literally not. I'm kind of in a rush. I have nine transformers I have to get through, and I've only gone through one. So the detail on Mirage is so ridiculous. I love this. This is one of my favorite transformers, but we're I'm saving my favorite transformer for last. Anyways, so Mirage has articulation in the knee, 90 degrees of motion. He has. Right at the calf, he has full range of motion. Yikes. Full range of motion, 90 degrees, full range of motion. And his leg can go, he can almost do a full split. Actually, he pretty much can do a full split. That's him doing a full split, people. Okay, that's Mirage. So, we've done a female and a male. Now we're getting into a very interesting Rook. R-O-R-O-O-K. He's a police bot. Part of the uh, protected bot slot. Now, if you're asking, does he come like this? No, he does not. I did this detail myself. Um, because I was tired of seeing that detail. and eh. Anyways. Let's get on with the transformation. So bring the head up. Bring his arm, untab his arms from the back. So his arms have these little peg holes right there. And they tab in right there. Right on that peg. Anyways, bring up the backpack. Bring this up. Bring this. Bring this. Oh, made a mistake. Bring the foot up and bring the foot up. And there you guys go. So the detailing on Rook is pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty spot on. I've never actually seen this character until a couple years ago. Now something fun about this character. So we're going to take Mirage's combiner hand. And then we're going to take, nope, where's Rook's? We're going to take Rook's combiner hand. Oh, what's going to happen? This is like the coolest thing possible, guys. At least by my standards, I think it's cool. You can give him giant clobbering hands. 
So he can literally just walk up to a Decepticon and go, Arrgh! Anyways, that's her up. Now, we're getting into some dinos. We're going back in time. <laughs> Anyways, so, our next review is Swoop. Power of the Primes, Swoop. So he did two Combiner Wars, the only two I actually have here. Oh, I forgot to do comparisons. Shoot. So, here he is with um, the last night Excalibur Optimus Prime. This is a leader class, so getting him about right? Yeah. Um, and here he is with a Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Like, this is actually pretty much the size of a leader class. A little bit taller. And obviously, uh, it's going to be smaller. Anyways, that's basically the same size for all deluxes. I'll do that with the Voyagers and stuff like that. Anyways, so when you're transforming Swoop, there is a lot of detail actually. Let's get in close on those wings. Look at those details. Let's even look in the inside. They molded this incredibly well. Even here, on the inner shin, they didn't have to do that, but they did, and I'm so happy. And I don't know how much time I have. I'm assuming I have about 30 minutes. And I've literally spent so much time. But same amount of details gone in. There's some, they actually went into the time to mold teeth and stuff. So, of course, he does have hip rotation. So does, um, Mirage. Uh, actually, I think almost everybody here has hip rotation. But anyways, feet, pivot. You can basically just jump up and... Ka-cha! Kick you. Now, his weapon goes to a sword. He has a sword. I can find that sword somewhere in my cabinet of Transformers. I definitely will. Oh, and uh, next time I do a multi-review, we're doing heroes. <laughs> and anti-heroes, of course. So that's Swoop. Now, we're going a little forward in time. Headmaster, right? That's Power Master Rodimus Prime. So, as I said before, they didn't have to do a lot of this molding, but they did, and it's so beautiful. Now, of course, you know I'm going to be a sucker for this. Of course, I did do the control board and did some of the painting myself. Anyways. Let's get it to the robot mode. Um, before I actually, uh, before you actually see the head be put on, I'm going to do a comparison with the, uh, Headmaster. And if you go into, if you watch the G1 series, you would know that, um, why are you so tight, hip? Yeah. Anyways, there you go. Rodimus Prime. Wait, where is his head? I guarantee some people never listen to me. So, here is the little Power Master for Rodimus. That's bugging me. Um, and I know I have one somewhere. And here it is with a halo figurine yeah smaller than a figurine that's it for all power masters anyways oh and uh this can ride on um okay so i'm going to show you something before we continue so this is going to be a later review but some of these transformers a lot of these Transformers have peg holes. So, this, if you have a Prime Master, he can ride 
Okay, here, let me just show you. There are little pegs on his feet, so... He can... Your Power Masters can basically ride on dinos. Anyways, for the transformation, bring his arms straight down. Basically, make him into a sitting position, and then break his legs. And then, you put his head like that. Boom, you got Rodimus Prime. Same amount of articulation. If you want to get some extra articulation, you can take off this. You can move this piece outwards and get some extra articulation. Pretty much the same amount of articulation. So, there's that. Yeah. Oh, and everybody in the Prime Masters has these. And actually, I can just pop this off. Oh god. This might be disturbing to some people. So if people don't like decapitation kind of things, don't look at this. <laughs> you can put like prime heads and stuff in it. Oh, and these are like hands for the deluxe classes like Swoop. Um, for the power of the primes. There is a new uh, movie coming out for Transformers. Oh, come on. Okay, there is a peg. I thought I saw there was no, like, peg for it. But these are for the, uh, power ones. And you're asking, well, I don't like that big gap. If I buy this, this is a waste of money right here. Don't worry. There actually is a way. I thought my sister lost one of these pieces and I lost it. Um, but basically what you do is you just place it right there. And voila. Now, again, going back in time. Wow, we are flying through these. No puns intended for our next one. Anyways, right now we are with something my friend Andrew also known as my producer, would, uh, argue to be. He used to argue about this, that this isn't a real dino. Of course it isn't. Root beer. Gotta drink something while I review. And my voice is getting dry. Anyways. So this... By Jurassic Park standards, is one of the biggest dinosaurs to ever exist. This is, let me, sludge. Here's his power card. Pretty ass, if I do say so myself. So as you see again, they did his teeth, but here's the. They could have just given him sharp teeth, but no. They rounded his teeth out. That's so cool. Now, for transformation, you want to lift this panel up that goes over his head. And basically pull it down. Do that. Swivel this. Oh, God. Swivel this head like that. And keep it here for the time being. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, oh, where are his legs? You pop this open. Then you pull these apart, these two sections apart. <clears throat> I hate the tail sometimes. But anyways, going in. Now, you're wondering, oh, what's that in the back? Probably think it's just a random piece of plastic that they put in there for aesthetic. It's his heel spur. This is a heel spur. Keeps him balanced. And then this adds a li little extra to that to keep it in place. And then you're like, well, I just have this flimsy piece of plastic that's only useful in Dynamo. There's a little, like, tab here. Not sure if you can see it, but there's a tab right there. And there's a slot right where the tail is uh, connected to the leg. And it just pops in right there. So, obviously, second boss, same as the first. Without every bark. 
Sorry, guys. Gotta make one funny. One. Oh, and that's right. My butcher's is over there. Diane. Diane. Hey. Yeah, he's over there. Here, I can show you guys. Want to say anything to the people? Anyways, continuing on. His arms are in a weird position, so you want to twist them and open them like. Sometimes you really gotta get your nail in there. And I'm a master toy reviewer. Like I've transformed, I transformed a toy I bought yesterday, and l opened it and transformed it in less than like 30 seconds. Okay, so these panels, you're probably going to understand what if you've watched the G1, but you just bring them to the back without trying to pop them off. And then you just bring down his arms, and voila. Now, for him, I actually do have his packaging. Oh, and here's a Swoop's obligatory product card. So, yeah. Where is your packaging? Here it is. So this is the exact same packaging, just different dinosaur on it. And a little bit on Slug's Hex 3. How will Decepticons stomp Dino by wielding, wielding the power of the Primes? True. Because he's one of the most powerful. Okay, so we finished him. Wow, we're motoring through. Now, we're going for... Um... Slug. Okay, so you just saw Slug's obligatory product card. I don't have his packaging. Here he is. I got this guy for Christmas. I got Swoop for Christmas. Um, and Amazon basically kind of uh, screwed my dad over by accident. So they could not send um, uh, Slash. So, I went to the store a couple days after Christmas, and it was there in the store. So, I'm like, oh, yeah, finally, I can get another female bot. So, yeah. Anyways. They, this dinosaur never really had teeth, so there's that. And you probably saw what's where I guarantee you can guess where that is. Um, but anyways, transformation wise, they all had the same articulation in dino mode as well. Legs move the same amount. But once I get a Grimlock and the last member of this team, of course, you know, I will be reviewing it to become Dino King. That and also I love, um, if you don't understand the Dino King reference, look up um, uh, Dinobots Combining. That's Dino King. Freaking big Transformer. Okay, anyways. Continuing on with the review. Because <laughs> I get distracted easily. So, in the G1 um, series, there was um, always... Uh, little flamethrower right here where they could breathe fire from but anyways there he is so much detail so beautiful and then again the head they've done that for every dinobot even grimlock grimlock doesn't really look like grimlock though now anyways oh that's right i forgot to grab something out of this one i got one other obligatory product card that i need now, anyways, before I get into her, that sounds oddly inappropriate, um, how will the resourceful and developed Autobot warrior wield the power of the primes? 
So, this one, as I said, is a female, of course. So, I showed you her package. Didn't show you her packaging. This is her packaging. That's her. Yay! And it's not her obligatory project card I'm holding. But, uh, we got two. We got two left, and this is the second to last one. Anyways, here she is. You saw her in a little bit earlier in the video, and this is one of my longest reviews. So I'm going to pop off Hot Rods or Rodimus Prime's head. So again. You can just plop the head in there, which I still find funny. But what's supposed to be, what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to, like, I believe, nope, you're not. Yeah. Anyways. You saw with the hands, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Each Voyager comes with a two feet. And they can do both the disturbing thing. Oh, uh, my star ahead of my foot. <laughs> you, some reviewers find that funny. I do too. I say I'm one of the most experienced reviewers on YouTube. Sorry, Rod Rodimus. Anyways. So, so much beautiful detail. Oh my god. Anyways, pop open the wings. No, first lift up these panels. I'll be showing you the combined mode in uh, later videos. Bring it back like that. Bring these wings back like so. Bring her legs down and pop them open like so. Then there's a little tab little like port Whew. I've never like actually rushed myself this much it's weird flip out the feet bring the panel down bring the panel down bring this down bring these over nope and then bring this up do the same thing on this side. Basically push it up. Goes like that. Swivel it around. Rotate her head. Bring down her other foot. Forearms. Pop open. And tab in. Same thing. Okay, now she comes with two guns. These miniature little pew pew bang bang things. And that's her wielding them. I don't think I've ever said her name, but this is Alita 1. So she's the first, like, actual, I guess you could say, lady warrior bot. So here she is with um, Deluxe Class Windblade. Excuse me one second. The f the f usually when I have these guns out, I usually put them on the wings. Because tell me that that does not look a little bit cooler. Okay. There's no way I'm doing this in 30 minutes. Sorry, guys, it's probably going to be longer. Anyways. And now, my favorite, and this probably beats every Autobot I've reviewed to date. Even my Optimus Primes, even my Bumblebee up there. And I love that Bumblebee too, shit. I love him, all these Transformers. And this one... Beats them all, and I've had this transformer a little less than 24 hours. Let me get a sip because this one I'm going to be gushing over for about half an hour. 
Okay. So let's get her packaging out of the way. Here's her packaging. Okay. How will the darling infiltrator and rescue specialist wield the power of the primes? So she's a rescue specialist. Okay, I've been trying to figure out that. Come on. Stop losing your cool. Now, before I actually show you, here's her hand and her weapon. Where is your weapon? Oh, it's back there. And here's her weapon. Little pistol. Okay. So... Fights using the power slipstone from the core of the planets. So her name is Megatronus Nova Star. Or, as I will probably call her, Nova Star. Here she is, Nova Star. Now, before we actually get into anything, of course, she's a beautiful freaking vehicle. Like, if this was a real car, I guarantee most men would be drooling over it. So, if you're trying to, like, actually have everything on the character, this is how you store it. You put it on the thumb. Anyways. This is just a beautiful... And... You can barely tell that this actually transforms into a robot from the top. Like, if I just took off that top view, you could barely tell that transforms. Anyway, so let's get into the transformation. So, first thing we want to do, we want to move these little panels back. We want to bring this back, bring out the head, push it back. Bring out the arms. Bring out the arms. Because they're going to get in the way. Swivel the body like so. And then you want to keep this piece up here. And then you want to swivel this again to the front. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep this down. But it's really supposed to be like this. So it's supposed to be a backpack. But I don't like that. I like this because it looks cool and then this makes it more of like a feminine kind of thing. Bring down this piece which is her windshield 